love how he's getting dragon scales, so that's cool. I've never played, uh, the... I was going on my good mates and walking to a brand new mission, aka another reaction, and I'm doing a lot more reactions lately because a lot more stuff is coming out for games. And today is another wonderful game that is being turned into a show, um, and we have Like a Dragon, Yakuza. Based on the Sega video game series, Like a Dragon, getting tattoos. I don't like video tattoos, just the fact that I never know which one. Because I really want an anime tattoo. Because a lot of them do have like meaning towards me. Like, but then it's just like I don't want to get one and I have to explain to people all the time. I love how he's getting dragon scales, so that's cool. I've never played uh, the, any of the like Yakuza, uh, Yakuza games. Not, my bad. Yakuza's his name at all. I've never played Like a Dragon. Not like none of those. So I know I got to like do my lore on this. So that is it. October 24th. If they're smart, if they're smart, because it's just it's a teaser right now. They're smart. They will only do one trailer. Um, that was my main thing with uh, a lot of the Deadpool and Wolverine stuff. Um, I feel like uh, trailers today, like they they they're not bad. They just reveal way too much. Like I think Beetlejuice is doing awesome right now. If they want to do three trailers of Beetlejuice, because you know it's called Beetlejuice, 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 whatever, or Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Or, yeah, it's just build, just build, just. If they just want to, you know, do two trailers, awesome. Like, if they did a teaser, two official trailers, I'm good. I, I, I feel like it's it's overdone with all the the trailers coming out for movies. I, I just... For me, for a superhero movie, I, I, I would feel more excited if it was, like, a teaser trailer, a trailer... And then maybe like another teaser trailer. Because I feel like when you do a lot of trailers, you're kind of revealing the movie way too much. Especially since like a lot of movies are like under two hours. And I feel like that could also help hype up a lot of stuff with Marvel. I just feel like Ant-Man and Quantumania, like Ant-Man Watson and Quantumania was, could have been good. I feel like the trailers revealed too much, especially with Modoc. Modoc could have got a little bit more work uh, to make him look a little bit more menacing. I know, that, I understand. It, I'm trying not to sound rude here, but um, I understand you brought back Yellow Jacket, but you could have gave the guy some hair, uh, or not got him at all. No offense to anyone that's bald. It's just that Modoc has like, Modoc has a grotesque face. And that baby face that they gave Modoc was was just not it. And then like the fact that they they focused on his little baby butt was not even was not even cool either. Just because the fact Modoc is evil, but he's also just so ugly that it's funny. Um, so I feel like that stuff could have been done better, and I feel like that movie should have been serious. I also feel like Thor should have been, like Lord uh, Love and Thunder was okay. It was not great. It was not good. It was not better than I can't say the word because my mother doesn't like me saying it. But the last film that had Hulk in it, that it, it was not great as that film of Thor. Um, because when they did Gore the God Butcher, I just felt like Gore the God Butcher was not executed well. His name is God Butcher. Um, it, it, it didn't. He didn't feel scary enough. He didn't feel like I should fear this guy. And to, didn't, to do what they did, to, to do what they did at the end of the film, it, he could. It, it just. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry, but. They could have kept him to make him a, a ferocious villain for Thor down the line. I'm just saying. Um, and I just feel like a lot of times Marvel is trying to pump too much out. 
and I feel like it needs to go back to the old route where it's like two maybe three movies at max because now you got these tv shows and some of these tv shows were great secret invasions wasn't that as much i feel like secret invasions could have been more more of a bigger threat and more like of a mystery like a puzzle solving type thing like crime scenes just because like secret invasion in the comics was legit an entire invasion of earth i feel like it could have just dealt more and then if it didn't feel like homework as much like if you wanted to hint that you know <clears throat> that the president's resigning at the last episode awesome but it's just it's just that a lot of the shows have it where then it, it's it's too much just too much like some people is not going to be able to sit here and watch this stuff because some folks can't afford Disney plus and other stuff as well so it's just like and it's just too much. I feel like a Marvel, the Marvel show c- can connect, but it needs to connect like at the final episode or some way, or like in the beginning and at the end, because the entire I shouldn't have to watch an entire show to understand a movie. Like I shouldn't have to watch Loki to understand like all the other films or WandaVision to understand Doctor Strange. I feel like the show should not have that many connections. Also, uh, I just want to point out here, uh, if Amazon wants, please, please buy the rights for um, distribution or movies or TV shows of Resident Evil and get in contact with me because I have an entire entire script if you want to do a movie instead of a TV show. But we can also use my script as a TV show because I, do, I do have it broken down where it's like a TV show. And pl- please get in contact with me because... I'm a fan of Resident Evil. My dad's a fan of Resident Evil. We will make sure that the show or movie does so good that you will make a lot of money from people wanting to watch that. Because Resident Evil need, really needs some some fans working on it. Welcome to Raccoon City wasn't bad. It was just poorly executed. I feel like Welcome to Raccoon City should have just did the first game or spent or been at least two hours I have one hour be the game, the other hour being the the city itself. Um, or did like a short amount at the mansion. You know, show stuff that happened at the mansion, and then you know, just go straight to the uh, Resident Evil Two. But without further ado, uh, if y'all enjoy this video and y'all want to see more reactions, which I'll probably end up doing because Comic Con. It's currently happening, and I'm probably going to react to some other things, too, that might not be games. So, without further ado, if y'all enjoyed this, and y'all want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the Hidden Guild, because, like I said, subscribing is free, which means that you can hop on and hop off, and if you are somebody that really likes reactions, please know that my channel is mainly gaming. I will do reactions if there is stuff to react to. People don't give me recommendations, so I mainly react to upcoming things of trailers and stuff like that. So, without further ado, though, if y'all enjoy, just make sure you subscribe, because subscribing is free. So that means you can leave whenever you feel like it. I hope you enjoyed it though so you won't leave and you will stay. My goal here for at the end of the year, which right now is going very slow because at first it was going good but then it was just like, I wasn't able to do a lot of uploading because I was doing orders this summer and then it was just the fact of trying to figure out a schedule for me and my brother because we share the computer so I haven't done a lot but I'm trying to get as many things recorded as possible because I'm planning on uploading a lot more because this is what I want as a job this is what I want as a thing to do because entertainment and being an entertainer is what I want what I like to do what brings me joy and I'm almost there I am almost there I, my goal was to try to get as close to a thousand as possible to like at least 700 or 800. So then by next year, I would finally be at a thousand. So I can finally just, you know, be happy with this. So without further ado, if you want to see more content, subscribe. And until then, oh, if you watch my clothing store thing, I go into more detail about. My entire dream. I'm like Luffy. I have one. I have two dreams. One dream is just be an entertainer. The second dream is way more important. 
because as my parents know, everyone else that knows me, I love helping people. <laughs> so my second dream, because I don't really care for cash, uh, what I want more is not cash that's not going to bring happiness to me. Friends, girlfriend, wife, family, happiness for me. Money, don't really give two Fs. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> that, that can't talk to me. So, yeah. <laughs> so without further ado, peace. Thanks for watching. On my left is a wrap of the old random playlist. On my right is the next video to this series. And above me is the subscribe button. Subscribe to become part of the Hidden Guild. And when you become part of the Hidden Guild, you become part of the family. And be a guildmate with the rest of us. I'll see you in time next mission. Bye-bye.